This channel is proudly sponsored by The Red Room Publishing. Please check out the link to their store for exclusive tabletop RPG products. They have recently released The Darker RPG, a tabletop role-playing game of supernatural and existential horror. You will find the link in the description and in the pinned comment. Hi! Welcome to this part of my review featuring Cottages and Cerberus. If you haven't seen the other parts of my review, featuring this Animal Crossing meets Harvest Moon meets Monster Hunter inspired tabletop RPG, please check out the playlist in the description below. This time we are going to talk about the premise of the game. This game combines the peaceful joys of cottagecore living with the thrilling danger of monster hunting. Cottagecore is all about slice-of-life situations, such as reading, painting, cleaning up, all sorts of peaceful situations. But then you need to go out to hunt, because your home is surrounded by all sorts of supernatural dangers. You will explore a world filled with enchanted forests, rolling meadows and misty lakes. You will need to go out into the wilderness to gather firewood, procure ingredients for food. This is all about survival but also comfort, and gather useful materials to create tools. Sometimes you need parts from those dangerous beasts. So this tabletop RPG is about cozy living and carrying out dangerous hunts. Now let's talk about spoons. In this game there is a resource referred to as spoons because it is derived from Christine Misarandino's spoon theory. Spoons could represent capacity. It is a resource that accounts for physical health, but also energy levels and overall ability to perform tasks. Now in this section of the book, you are also given a definition of what a tabletop RPG is. But there is an error here. The game master or cottage master is referred to here as a storyteller. And as I always say in one of my famous RPG sayings, in tabletop RPGs you are not telling stories about your characters, you are experiencing the game world as your characters. The game master or cottage master is not going to be, oh, your, your character moves across the the forest and starts killing the creatures and then he finds the cave and he finds a, a chest, a mysterious chest inside the cave. No, you are describing your actions. As a game master or cottage master, you are playing the role of the entire world. You are the weather, you are the non-player characters, you are everything. You describe the game world and then the players take action as the player characters within that game world. You are not telling a story. You are carrying out your actions, describing your actions, and something happens, maybe you need to roll the dice, maybe something happens within the context. This is very different from telling a story, this is not Raven or Children of the Fall, that are actually storytelling, role-playing game hybrids. Then we have a list of assumptions of the setting, such as the player characters start the game in a remote village, the village is surrounded by dense forests and rolling hills, the region is sparsely populated and the village is the only settlement for miles. People in the village are deeply connected to nature and have a strong bond with the land. The village is home to a diverse group of people including humans, elves, pixies, gnomes, catfolk and other fantasy species. Pretty much any type of fantasy species you can imagine has a place in cottages and Cerberus. And there are many other assumptions that make a lot of sense with the setting. For example, the players' cottages are not just homes but also serve as workshops, where they can create potions, weapons, and other tools to aid them in their monster hunting. The player characters can sustain themselves in various ways. During downtime, they may cultivate a farm or garden. They can create goods or offer services, and barter those in exchange for food. They could use leftover monster parts, either by cooking them or crafting mundane goods, and exchange them for food as well. So, the possibilities are endless. These are just a few of the assumptions. Thank you for watching this part of the review, in the next part we are going to talk about the core rules. This section is really good, it summarizes everything quite perfectly, except for that storytelling part. Once again, thank you for watching my videos. Don't forget to leave a like, a comment and subscribe. And thank you so much to those of you that are going the extra mile to support the channel. If anyone else wishes to further support the channel through PayPal or Drive-ThruRPG, the information will be in the description and in the pinned comment. 
This has been Abraham El Jaguar, a professional game master. I am currently unavailable for professional sessions, but I will put my contact information in the description and in the pinned comment for when I am available again. And remember, in tabletop RPGs you are not telling stories about your characters, you are experiencing the game world as your characters. Once again, thank you and see you later.